Hi dear viewers and victorious creators of my channel. Привет также моим русскоговорящим подписчикам и гостям моего канала. Сегодня будет видео коллаборация. Будем делать весенний пасхальный венок для входной двери. Надеюсь вам понравится. Спасибо за визит. Today is another day for collaboration. The project is called Spring Easter DIY Wreath. And this time the participants are Jennifer from Designer Jen's channel, Tricia from Carnation 038, and with Heather from Ideas to Come. Hopefully you check out all the participants that I will link below. Please let us know which project did you like most. I'm going to have a giveaway and the giveaway is open for a couple of countries in the USA, Russia, Australia and all the European countries. Dear viewers, as this is my first giveaway on my YouTube channel, I chose a very useful item for almost everybody. It's a set of three pieces. First one is memory foam pillow, second cozy box and third one is eye mask. The brand name is Ardo. You may drop this set into your carry-on bag and travel with confidence knowing that you have your comfort and coziness with you. Good luck to all the subscribers who enter this giveaway. The requirements are to watch this video, to like it, forget to subscribe, also to write a comment about which project do you like and we are going to make wreath to hang over the door or you may hang it on the wall in your entrance and for that purpose we are going to use floral foam. I already used this one for my Easter and Thanksgiving and I'm going to just redecorate this. Next item that you will need for this project is glittered duct tape. If you can't find it, you may just use regular simple white paper, then glue it with a simple mud patch glue or, and add some glitter on it. They sell it in all craft stores. Later we will need to use nail polishes. I chose the colors of my flowers and these are green, yellow, pink, purple, blue and orange. We'll need also the same colored crayons or simple pencils that match the nail polish colors. And then we'll need scissors, we will need some type of ribbon, either or either streamer serpentine as they call it let me show how it looks it's this simple streamer for folding around the floral foam if you can't find the color you want you may choose simple table cover i chose my used one and i'm just upcycling it <laughs> i didn't want to throw it away because of the color that's why i kept it and now i'm cutting it into small pieces and using for different projects. The most important item is paper towel carbon. If you have paper towel and it's finished, don't throw away the carbon, you will need it for this type of projects. If you want to make more of a rustic look, you may use the regular one, not the white one. The other important item will be peels or vitamins. So cap. They can be upcycled nicely in all kinds of projects. You may use them for your beads, for collecting different type of small items. Also, if you don't need the jar, then keep the tops. You will need small flower leaves to make it look more closer to the natural flowers. The items needed are the explained and now Let's continue with the project. Start by cutting the paper towel carton into two even pieces. Then make the end look smoother by cutting the uneven parts. And then color with your crayon. 
because this is not a white one I'm gonna waste lots of time on coloring <laughs> now when I have it colored I'm starting to cut from one side not till the end we are going to stop as soon as we reach one finger almost one thumb size like this much and then we are cutting into narrow strips in a way that we can form flower like this one so I have 24 even strips here and now I'm trying to bend them outwards so I can start nail polishing each of them separately start to nail polish you may even spray paint it but because I don't have all these colors to spray paint I'm choosing to nail polish and besides I have a bunch of nail polish that is not being used getting old so I am using whatever I have now when half of the flower is ready I'm going to make the middle part with the cap of the vitamin jar and for that purpose I'm just placing the cap on top of the duct tape cutting from the side then opening and placing the cap in the middle and just cutting the shape of the cap so it will look nice and neat may correct extra parts with smaller scissors because now the only part left is glue gun or you may use some type of E6000 I have glued here and now I'm trying to push it inside and make it stick there we are gluing it from the back part so it won't be seen our flower is ready all is left is to arrange them around the flower foam but before we glue them on the flower foam we are going to make the flower foam look more festive with our old tablecloth in my case it's my green tablecloth that I had the piece that I cut take a wider piece taking about two yards just wrap it around right till you cover the whole area as you can see I already wrapped the tablecloth around the flower foam and also attached my first flower with a glue gun I'm waiting for my glue gun to get hot so I can attach the rest of the flowers put the glue around here that you can decide wherever attach it After I'm done attaching the flowers, I've started attaching the leaves in between the flowers. Let's hope that I can make it look really cute. I'm using Velcro on this board, which is just a gift box, which I just unfolded and cut it in a circle. I Velcroed it and then glued the ribbon on top every time I'm using this flower foam all I'm doing is putting it on the bottom of the foam one of the ribbon ends comes from this side the other one is from that side and it makes it stronger when you hang it and by the way this time the middle parts of the flowers match golden ribbon the only thing left is to add the eggs and let's start with these dollar tree eggs the artificial eggs that will be used in order to make it fit the easter time version look what i've made i found a, a full flower branch the full flower leaves this one's from dollar tree and just pulled some of these long leaves and add it on top and here is the final version of my spring slash easter wreath hope you like my ideas on keeping our planet greener and cleaner by not throwing away our everyday household items but upcycling them don't forget to check out the other ladies channels 
like their projects, subscribe to their channels. And always remember, creativity wins and victories of creativity are permanent. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Спасибо за просмотр. Увидимся в следующем видео. Пока-пока.